Hi. Um. So I've been cut by Rita Marie. So I am on to give my answers to the questions she's gave me. Pardon me. I um, don't know how well I'm going to answer them, but I'll try my best. I've got hiccups. Right, so who inspires me the most? Um, like, I've got a lot of people on, like, here and Facebook and stuff like that that inspires me. But if I had to mention a few, and, like, I don't like doing this because then everybody's going to feel, oh, why didn't they mention me and stuff like that. But, um, don't take offence. It's not that you just don't inspire me. It's just that, like, you just do inspire me, but I've not, like, tried many of your techniques. But the main people that I've tried is Eileen McInnes. I've tried a few th a few things that she's put up. Secret Soto. Um, Kelly Donovan. She's like really inspired me to draw things, and I really suck at drawing, but like she's given me the inspiration to do to actually do things. Um. So yeah, so Kelly Donovan, Claudia Rossi is also an inspiration, um, her work is so beautiful and stuff and uh, she's inspired me to actually like, sh she's well not inspired me but I suppose encouraged me to show my face on camera because like um, before when I first started out I used to do a lot of videos and just no show my face because like I get quite embarrassed and stuff and it's not exactly the prettiest face to be looking at. Um, so yeah, she's. Uh, I did a haul video one day and she said that she wished that she could see my face. So I did a video on my face and I didn't get any bad comments so I've been making videos showing my face. Um, but if anybody doesn't like seeing my face then go see Claudia, it was her fault. <laughs> um, so yeah, Claudia, Annie Couture has been quite good as well, I loved going to her show and Kelly's shows, um, so they inspired me a lot, um, who else, Jennings 644 has inspired me, she was actually one of my first inspirations, she was like one of the first people that I had like watched on here like every day, I think I watched nearly every one of her videos. Um, so yeah, she's she's a big inspiration. Right, my favourite media. Yeah, I watched Ireland's video on this, and she said basically the same thing that I would say, and that is paper, because it's the most like it has so many uses. You can do so many things with paper. So yeah, I would say paper as well. Um, favourite colour. Well, my favourite I like all round colour is purple. Um, any shade of purple, I just I love the colour purple. I think it's because it's like a calming colour, it's relaxing and stuff like that. So yeah, um if I'm feeling a bit stressed I tend to pull out the purple paints and have a bit of fun with them. That usually helps. Um other colours I like pink and blue together, they're quite nice. I like on the same page. Uh, I don't have any examples here, they're in the bedroom, but yeah, pink and purple, uh, pink and blue are quite nice together. I actually done a, I done one on my paint with marbles, and it turned out really pretty, so I, I like them together as well. Um, name three things you would take to a desert island, deserted island. Um, well that would be my art box that I use, like I put like stuff in it for projects I'm doing or whatever when I'm going somewhere, like if I'm going to my brother's because I go there quite a lot and uh, sometimes I'll pack up my little box with, like if it's ATCs I'm making I'll stick in some car, well whatever, some embellishments or if I'm making book paper flowers or whatever I'll 
I'll put in some like, pages and stuff like that in there. So, um, with some paint and stuff. So yeah, I would say my wee art box. Um, I would also take one of my sketch pads. Um, because I use the paper quite a lot from that to do a lot of things and um, a book because I could read the book when I'm bored and then when I'm finished with the book I can use the book paper to make more art so there you go um, what kind of product would you be I would say that I would be glitter because glitter makes you smile and it makes everybody happy and everybody loves glitter and uh, yeah so I would be glitter because um, I want to make everybody happy and make everybody smile and I want everybody to love me <laughs> so yeah glitter um, right, these are the tricky ones now most expensive craft tool that you use on a regular basis right well at the moment, I don't have a most expensive craft tool. Like most of my craft tools are all the same price. They're all basically a pound because um, my my budget's quite tight. So I usually get a couple of stuff from the pound shop and just build it up to there. Um, but on Thursday, I'm hoping that my jelly plate comes, which my brother got me. Um, I actually got it myself. And then he gave me the money back, so it's a gift from my bra, so I've got a jelly plate, and I think I'll be using that a lot. Um, least expensive craft tool that you use on a regular basis? Scissors. I use my scissors a lot, um, even though I can't cut straight, but <laughs> I use them a lot um, for, like, everything really, like, maybe not so much art online. Well, I do use them for art journal because sometimes I'll like make flowers or little things to stick into the art journal so I cut them out and cut out pictures and yeah so scissors. Oldest item that you made that you or someone else still have. So I have got that with me and it's this little canvas here that I made. Um, I made this a few years ago. Basically it was an arts and craft group that I had um I was part of and uh, we learned to make this. So it's really pretty and I love it. Um it's like as I say it's like must be about four or five years old. Um but the picture like she basically the teachers had basically gave us like a couple of like images to pick from and uh, I picked her because I just thought she looked so pretty and uh, I wanted to make her even more pretty with adding flowers and she's got like a little dragonfly on her hair and um, that's a flower just a paper flower with a wee button on it for the center and I stuck the dragonfly on she's got little bits of glitter you can't really see in the camera but she's got little dots of glitter in her eyes to make it shine um, as I say, this was mm, this here was just flowers. Yeah, as you can see, it's just flowers and stuck in a little bit on. And then these ones, flowers. And then just the ribbon, ribbon round the edges. So I made that about four or five years ago. Basically, what it was, it was part of um, a program that I was referred to when I first got my depression. It was called condition management, and uh, they had lots of activities like. One day at the week we would go in a walking group and it was good because it was like people in the same boat, you know, they all suffered with depression, different types of depression for different reasons, um, but everybody knew what you were going through and understood and stuff like that, so um, yeah, it was good and I actually met a friend from it and this was like, as I say, it must have been about four or five years ago and uh, I'm still friends with her and we still meet up now and again and go for a walk. Um, so yeah, so I met a friend out as well and there was lots of other activities, like as I say, there was a walking group, there was the arts and crafts. Um, then I would go and see my counsellor every week and let her know basically how my week went and she would help me with coping with the depression and stuff like that. 
and then um, it was my weight management and he would take me out for a walk as well and help me <coughs> help me with portions with the food portions and stuff like that so yeah it's kind of cool um, and as I say there was a walking group as well where we would go out a walk and we'd learn like the history of Paisley and um, then we'd go for a coffee and have a chat with each other and get to know each other and talk about our weeks or whatever so it was kind of cool I liked that and it did really help me and then as I say like I did a lot of arts and crafts and then I found that my budget was worse <laughs> back then and um, when I got better I decided that I couldn't really afford to keep the craft going so I sort of gave it up and then like when I get diagnosed this time then I took it back up again and I'm glad I did so and I don't think I'll be giving it up again um okay next question is crafty oh that was a waste of money um as I say I'm still kind of new to the craft world and I'm, I'm gradually building up my supplies um, I've been getting a lot of Happy Mail as well, which is helping, and I thank everybody for that. It's just amazing. These guys are amazing. Um, so I don't really have a lot of stuff. Um, so in everything that I have, I've used really, and I don't think it's really a waste of money. Um, so I, I wouldn't say that I've got any craft tools or had any craft tools that's been a waste of money. Yet, yeah, anyway maybe in the future but not at the moment um craft tool that was the best bargain now i actually bought this today i was going to show it on a haul video um but i suppose i could still show it on a haul video it's good to put this and i got it out of the pound shop today and it's obviously nice and then you get all your blades and uh, you get two knives as well so it's kind of cool um it kind of reminded me that is it the ecto knife so i thought i'll get them and give them a go so i've not actually tried them yet so i don't know how well they work um but a pound come on you can't crumble a pound for that um so yeah i've got that today and i'm quite happy with that i've not tried it yet but i'll let you know how it how well it is um, best storage idea that you have implemented. I see I wouldn't really say, I wouldn't really say that I've got like a best storage idea. Um I usually just put like my bits and bobs like my brother drinks a lot of coffee. So he gives me all his coffee jars and I use them to put like a lot of bits and bobs in there. My local shops gave me a lot of the tubs that you put like like the penny sweets in or whatever. Um the little gums and jellies and stuff like that yeah so i use them as well and i like them because they're see-through and i can see what I, you know what's in it when i'm looking for something um so yeah what storage idea putting them into bags i would say just putting them into carrier bags that's what i used to do and yeah that's the worst thing to do and also putting them into drawers. Um, I do use my drawers, but um, they can get really messy. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say if it was neater, if I put them in neater, then it would probably be alright. But at the moment, I've just sort of been putting them in, so it's getting kind of messy, and I don't know where that is. So yeah, drawers. Um, most viewed YouTube craft video is hmm. I don't know I'll tell you right now because I don't really know um, my channel I'll tell you Right, my most viewed videos is my stamp impression on toilet paper tutorial and that's got 134 views 
Let's do my sword. And my least has my candle wax resistant page and I don't blame it because it was a rubbish video and I don't even think I'll keep that up. Um, it was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> Um, so yeah, craft, the craft wax resistant page only has 14 views. For some reason I've got that on there twice, I think. A lot of my videos are showing up twice, but I think it's because I put them into playlists as well. Um, but yeah, so that's my least and my most viewed. Um, what's next? Um, the biggest mishap. What project did you do that just didn't cut it? And I would say the the wax resistant page. It just it was a bit of a disaster. I think it's because of like I've not got uh, like one of the irons. Um to get the wax off so it took me ages to try and get the wax off it so yeah I would say that's the biggest mess up but I do have several but I think that's the worst um, items you stock up on when you go to a craft store um, my sketch pad my uh, sketch pads because like the, pa the paper's not like com really thick but it's thick enough and uh, I usually, what I usually do to make it a bit thicker, like, for this, um, what I do is I put my brother uh, gives me these loose and scratch cards, and uh, I usually stick the paper, I design the paper, then I'll stick the paper onto the scratch card and cut it to size, and then I'll use that on this, so that it just thickens the card a bit. So I use that paper quite. I get that quite a lot, and also brushes, because at the moment I just use like really cheap brushes, so they tend to fall apart, and you end up with the bristles everywhere or whatever. So I tend to just use them the best I can, and then I'll throw them out, because I'd say they're so cheap, so you can get them every time you go if you really want. Um, they're all right. They do the job, but um. That would probably be my na ah, well, <laughs> that's another answer to question. Um, so yeah, my paper and probably the the cheap brushes, um, because I go through quite a lot of them. Um, favorite non-craft store place to buy supplies for item? Well, the pound shop. I would say pound shop because they've got tons of craft supplies and I love, I love going in there and getting them and they're cheap and some of them are really pretty and yeah so the pound shop um craft your wish you can do but you can't um I would really like to be able to do cross stitch um my friend's mother had actually done me a few cross stitch um, samples or whatever you call them, or the pictures from my house. But I've just not had a chance to put them up yet because the house is still a mess and it needs decorated. Um, so I've not put them up yet. But once obviously the house is all decorated and stuff like that, then I'll I'll put them up. So I love them, but I I have tried it, but uh, uh, I just can't do it. Um, so no cross stitch that's good to be but I would love to be able to do that but I just ca I can't do it um, also drawing as well like there's so many people that do so many drawings on like the Facebook groups and oh my god they are amazing and sometimes I'll look at them and go oh my god I wish I could draw like that and, like as I say I'm still attempting it and some of the things that I've done I've actually turned out not too bad so a bit more practice and hopefully I can do it but yeah I'd love that. Um, I'd love to be able to like draw a wolf or something like that because I love wolves or a dolphin or something like that. Um, 
as I say, my favourite animals is, I know this isn't one of your questions, but I want to tell you, <laughs> um, is a tiger, a wolf, or a dolphin. Um, also a lion as well. Um, I've always loved tigers. Sounds silly, but since Aladdin. <laughs> I just thought it was so cool and I would love to have a tiger as a pet, like Jasmine does. Um, so yeah, it's, ever since I've seen that, that film Aladdin, I've always wanted a tiger as a pet and I just love tigers. Um, wolves, there's just something about wolves. How can, I don't understand how anybody could not like wolves. Just love them. I would love to be able to draw a wolf one day. Um, um, what's, I'm going with them. what's the plan, what's next in your craft tool list? My next craft tool list, next on my craft tool list, I've got my jelly plate, so, is a paper cutter, um, I've got the trimmers, but I want a decent one. I got one the other week, but it was just like a ruler with like the thingy on it, and then you had like a cutting mat, but it wasn't like attached to the. I want one of one that's firm, it's attached, and it's just a matter of, and that's it. Um, because I'm really rubbish at cutting straight lines and measuring things, and like I've done some ATCs, and I don't even think they're the right size. So, um, yeah. Um, so that would probably be one of my other ones. Um, so paper cutter, um, some brushes, decent brushes, um, some punches because I only own three punches and they're only like these tiny things. <laughs> so some punches, I'd love to own some punches and some stencils. Nikki Parr sent me a few stencils the other day. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing with them. I've not actually played with a lot of the Happy Meal that I've received yet. Like, it's all so pretty, I just don't want to use it. Um, but I will have to eventually, I suppose. <laughs> and plus, like, at the moment, I've got so many projects going on. Um, I've got my mini book still to do. I've only done two pages of this. Um, so, well, this and another like chip. Um so I'm I'm not really doing that. My wee niece has asked me to do her a canvas which I've not even started yet. And what's the other thing? And I was doing my bird house and then I've got my bathtub, my little mini bathtub that I've got to work on as well and thanks to Ivan sending me a lot of the steampunk stuff and stuff like that, I can hopefully start working on that as well. Um, I'm trying to think what other things I'm working on. I want to try and make some more ATCs. Um, I've also been making these little things, these little flower here. Flowers. I've done a video on this as well. You can't really see it because it's white. Let's see if I can show you that. These ones. So I've been making some of these as well and just I've got like a lot going on. Um but there's been a couple of nights this week where I've been a bit down and just no wanted to do it and so I've just been lying in my bed watching Big Bang Theory. <laughs> um I just didn't feel like doing much. I know that a lot of people say like when you're feeling down or whatever, get the journal out. That's another thing that I need to start working on as well because I haven't done a journal page and Oh wow, ages. So I need to work on a journal page soon as well. Um, I need to start getting back into that. Um, but yeah, so that's my supplies that I want to get. Um, what made you start a YouTube video? Um, I would have to say that it was. Fiona Jennings, uh, Fiona Jennings, Jennings, yeah, Jennings 644, so it's uh, inspired me to start making videos, actually like one of my first main videos that I had made craft, 
related was uh, asking her a question and then like I posted like some of my projects that I've done in the past and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that that was Jennings, Fiona Jennings, um, was my inspiration really. And then as I say, Claudia Rossi was the one that got me to show my nice face. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, because one of my first videos that I uploaded was actually for a friend, um, I try and get him some more views and stuff, um, it was a friend that actually made like a music video for the Gangman Style, but he called it Glasgow, uh, Gangman Style, and, uh, Glasgow is, for those that don't know, is an area in Scotland a city in Scotland. Um, so there was that. Um, so it's really funny. The guy is just hilarious. He just basically he doesn't care what anybody thinks. He just wants everybody to laugh. Um, so if you haven't checked it out guys go and check it out. It's in my videos. It's called Glasgow Gangman Style and go and check it out if you want a good giggle. Um, and that's it really, that's all my questions answered. Um, I was doing a bit of research and I realised that Annie Couture doesn't, doesn't have any yet. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's my phone. Um, I'm on Zello. Um, So, uh, yeah, go check that out. Um, I've lost my track of what I was saying there. Oh dear. Yeah, Annika Tua hasn't done any tag videos. I don't think anyway. I didn't see any on her page. So, Annie, I am tagging you and I will put the questions in the description for you to answer. Um, and I know that, like, you haven't been doing a lot, but uh, I know that your life's been a bit hectic at the moment. Um, but maybe this will pop you up a bit. Um, so yeah, you're you're at right, tag, you're at. Right. Um, it's your turn. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm gonna go and I'll speak to you all soon. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video and hopefully you've learned a few things that you didn't know before. And uh, thanks Rita Marie for tagging me and getting me involved in the fun. And uh, I will speak to you all soon. I am going to go now. I'm going to go in and watch another Big Bang Theory. And uh, a couple of months ago I hated the programme. But now that I've started watching it, I'm actually starting to like it. And uh, I will speak to you all soon. I'm going to go in and watch that and go to sleep. So... Bye for now.